Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I uh, created this video to help you gain a basic understanding of signal flow, meaning how do we get vid video signal from one piece of equipment to another. So understanding signal flow is a big help to knowing what equipment you'll need to set up your show and also how to troubleshoot any technical issues uh, should you have them. So for more technical complex setups, it's helpful to have an equipment flow diagram similar to this done before setup. So for our first example, we'll start with taking signal from a single source and sending that signal to a single destination. In this case, a laptop is our source and a projector is our destination. So starting from the laptop, connect your cable to the video output of the laptop and connect the other end to the video input of the destination. So now what happens if we have a little bit of a larger event with two screens? So the theory is the same as our first example, but we need to add a piece of hardware that would allow us to split our source signal to multiple destinations. Building on our first example, let's add a second projector. Uh, the output is still the same from the laptop. However, now we need to be able to split the signal to two destinations. This can be accomplished by adding a distribution amplifier in line, sometimes known as a splitter. So the signal output of the laptop to the signal input of the distribution amplifier the DA will split the signal equally to two or more outputs of its own. Take one output to go to one projector and take another output to go to the second projector. Now let's add a third destination. Uh, we'll add in a confidence monitor for the presenter on stage. Uh, this way he or she will be able to see the, what the audience is seeing on screen without needing to turn around to look at the screens. All we need to do is take another output from the DA and run to the confidence monitor. Okay, now let's add a second source to our signal flow. By adding a switcher in line, we can easily switch between our sources. In this example, we have two laptops, one maybe for PowerPoint and the other for video playback. Sure, we can run the videos from the same laptop, but it'll be cleaner to the viewing audience by being able to switch to the laptop running video. From each source's output, run a cable to the switcher's inputs. A switcher will have at least two or more inputs to be able to switch between sources. Then from the switcher's output, run a cable to the projector's input. So laptops will be sources with their destinations as a switcher. The switcher will then become a source for the destination projector. So adding a second destination is easy as well. So referring back to the example of adding a second destination to a single source, by adding a distribution amplifier in line after the switcher, we are now able to split the signal evenly and then send the split signal to two or more destinations. In this case, a second projector or a third or a fourth projector or even a confidence monitor as well. All right, so now let's add a camera to our two laptops. So now we can switch up live image from the camera to the projectors and the screens. And this is usually called iMag. Uh, but what happens if you don't want your presenter to see the camera image on his or her confidence monitor? If your switcher supports a secondary output, like an aux out or just a secondary output, then you could run a dedicated signal to the confidence monitor and show them only what they want to see. Maybe their PowerPoint, maybe another video, maybe you want to run a timer to them that you can run that through another dedicated output of your switcher. So I hope this video has been helpful in learning how to understand basic signal flow. If it has, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any ideas on future videos that you'd like to see about the audiovisual world, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.